what's good y'all it's your boy ross back at again with another video so we're gonna check out wrestler nearly kills ref for real Liv morgan next champion superstar teases return and other wrestling news from none other than wrestlemania appreciate all the love and support on the channel man road to 70k we're, we're gonna get there sooner rather than later man i want to thank you guys so much for all the love and support and let's check this what is going on guys out. it is wrestlemania here back with some more news Join us now as we look at the wildest new stories and rumors you need to know, including a wrestler nearly killing a referee for this real. Is, this yeah, is wild. this is actually insane. Wow. Liv Morgan to be crowned new women's champion. The WWE superstar teases their return and much more. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell Make for daily sure wrestling videos and follow us on if Facebook you haven't already. for exclusive lists. Oh, and be sure to check us out on TikTok. Now let's see the intro and get straight oh, into our first TikTok story. Now. Oh, wow. Our first story looks at a wrestler nearly killing a referee for real. Atopping the news today is a disturbing report concerning independent wrestler Hannibal who allegedly went too far with an in-ring attack on referee Lando Del Toro. Body Slam reports, during a match against Carly Colon, formerly known as Carlito, oh. independent wrestler Hannibal the Bloodhunter, whose real name is Devin Nicholson, took liberties on an official with a spike. Going off script, Hannibal proceeded to stab referee Lando Del Toro with a spike, causing Del Toro to suffer a torn artery in his head. Lando is said to be stabilized in hospital, but had been bleeding out inside the ring. Oh. Del Toro was choking in a pool of his own blood before EMTs could get to him. A person claiming to be one of the referees at the event posted a lengthy statement on Reddit about what happened. What the Wrestling News' is Andrew Ravens managed to summarize things up. Another referee who was actually part of the match provided some additional details when he commented on a Reddit post. He stated that after the cops arrived at the scene, he gave a statement because he thought this was assault. The referee accused Kevin Sullivan of telling him to kayfabe the cops to protect the business and that everything that happens is a work. He added that Hannibal was visibly unwell prior to the match. What the hell? This incident has some individuals clamoring for him to be boycotted. The podcast, the Slot Drops Twitter account, blasted Hannibal's action saying, I'm not about cancel culture, but promotions need to stop booking Hannibal, aka Bloodhunter. There have been numerous accusations of sexual harassment Whoa. and several incidents of him legit injuring people. He's a reckless liability that's all about himself and getting YouTube views. Thankfully, the referee appears to be on the road to recovery. Del Toro posted Jesus. a picture of himself after receiving medical attention along with the following message. Recovering at home, still a bit fuzzy and pain. Yes, lots of pain, but I'll live. Thank you all for your outpouring of love and support. I'm a firm believer that if you put good out into the world, good will return to you. What? Indie wrestler Ryan Justed praised Del Toro in a tweet asking fans to help the injured referee out. I may not ever be a superstar in this business. One of the things I'm most proud of is the people that is this business has brought into my life and I will stand up for each and every one of them when I have to. Lando is one of those people. Please donate. Our GoFundMe has been set up and it'll be in the description down below if you want to. Hey, I'm going to actually go try to find this GoFundMe and I'm going to put the GoFundMe uh, as the the pin description. I'm a, uh, the pin top comment. I'm going to actually go try to find this because uh, hey, if you can donate to this guy to help him out, that would be much appreciative. Uh, that's sick, man. That that is that is really messed up, bro. Like legitimately, who the f who the fuck does that? You're legitimately stabbing this guy in front of people for what? That's, bro, he should never be allowed to wrestle in anybody's company ever again. Doing stuff like that, bro, that's, what? Oh, man, that's messed up. Like I said, I'm going to try to find the um the GoFundMe link. Uh, Well, he says it in this video, so I'm going to pin it down as the top comment down below so you can go donate to the guy if you have anything um this is this is messed up bro this is definitely messed up bro. like I, i'm gonna I'm gonna try to donate as well um because that's that's sick bro that's really sick really disturbing want to donate a professional wrestling is built on the foundation that wrestlers do their very best to create the illusion of harming opponents without causing any actual harm while accidents occasionally happen and some wrestlers are known for working stiff, mm -hmm. the idea of someone intentionally injuring their opponent, and as alleged here, inflicting a serious injury, is something that demands zero tolerance. Facts. Pro wrestling's image has improved over the years, but actions like this will harm the industry and create distrust in performers if promoters do not police their talent. We'll let you know if there's any update regarding this story. Yeah, that's Next up, up, a new women's champion about to be crowned. 
A Raw Women's Champion Becky Lynch has been entrenched at the top of the WWE's championship mountain for some time, mm -hmm. but a recent report from Dee Meltzer suggests Big Time Bex could get drop kicked from the mountain. Meltzer observed during a recent Wrestling Observer Radio that, I think that's probably going to happen, Liv Morgan winning the title. The thing is, I don't know what the long term is, but I mean, mm. they can have Morgan win, but in the long term, Lynch should be the champion. But there is no rule like she can't lose it for a little while and win it back. Now we discussed the idea of Morgan winning the belt and holding it for a short reign, noting Morgan needs a major win to help her recover from WWE's poor booking this of her. This is very true. The WWE Universe is clearly behind her, but having her consistently come up short inevitably will make her a jobber in the eyes yep. of even the most diehard fans. Meltzer elaborated on how a title win could help Liv and still keep Lynch's status as one of WWE's top stars. You know, it would make Morgan, it would help Morgan into something. It would elevate her to have a short reign, and Lynch isn't going to get hurt by losing it and winning it back. Lynch is already a star. I don't know that. They are sometimes hesitant about giving you people titles, but it's a pass-round title. I mean, there's no reason not to. I mean, it's not like Roman Reigns, the world title is not a pass-round title. The WWE Damn. may find itself in a booking dilemma as it seems to want to book Lynch as an unstoppable champion, much like Roman Reigns on SmackDown, but it also wants to take advantage of what appears to be a popular program amongst fans, i.e. Liv vs. Becky. It's possible the WWE might stretch this program out all the way to WrestleMania, with Morgan finally defeating Lynch at 2022's Showcase of the Immortals. That could be just what Morgan needs to jump into the main event. How do you think WWE should book this? Hmm. Should they make Liv as champion? Let us know in the comments down below. I wouldn't call the Raw's Women's Championship a pass around championship. That's the problem. That's the problem right there. I, I can't buy into a championship that y'all don't even buy into and considering it something as a pass around title. No. Do I think they need to put the, uh, the Raw's Women's Championship on Liv? Yes, uh, obviously the fans are behind her. And it's one of those things where it's like, okay, they're teasing it. If you're going to do all this teasing like she can do it, at some point you got to pull the trigger on it. Do I think she will have a lengthy title reign? I don't think so. It just really depends on how they book it. But I don't see her having a lengthy title reign. And I do see Becky Lynch winning it back at some point. But at least give her something decent. And if the title reign is actually proving to be something, uh, you know, that the fans are really buying into even more, then, you know, continue the title reign, you know, make it a little bit longer. But I don't think actually we should be considering the Raw Women's Championship as just a pass around title, even though it has been, but it shouldn't be that way. Everybody that's holding a title, it should have some type of weight, some type of prestige to it. So, but I am all for Liv Morgan. Uh, definitely winning the belt at some point. Comment down below. Let me know. Are you guys uh, feeling the same way about that as well? Next up, an injured WWE superstar returning soon. Uh, speaking of the women's division, oh, things can get a major Bailey. shake up as Bailey appears to be getting closer to an in-ring return. Big booty Bailey. Bailey recently posted the you know, following you know. on Instagram saying, People are asking how my knee is. So my knee is doing great. My leg's doing great. My ankle's doing great. My calf is doing great. My shin is doing great. My hip is doing great. <laughs> My mind is doing great. Damn. So, I mean, it's only a matter of time, and I'm not going to tell you when, and I don't want all these idiots watching to know when, but I'm going to be coming back soon. You know, y'all better be ready. Better be ready. Now, it's likely the WWE will do its best to keep Bailey's return under wraps as a return. That's a, a nice heel response. I like that. She's keeping that heel like persona. I like that. And should create quite the surprise. Bailey has been one of the WWE's top heel performers ever since she ditched her babyface character for that of a vicious heel. Mm -hmm. And one of the biggest questions is which brand Bailey will wrestle on as she's currently a free agent. Where would you guys like to see Bailey wrestle? Let us know in the comments. Um, I'll be honest with you. Mm, I'm thinking SmackDown. I, I think in SmackDown for sure. Cause SmackDown just needs some 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 stars right now. So if anybody can give something to SmackDown, just come on over to SmackDown. They need some stars right now. Comments down below. Next up, a ruthless aggression star announces his retirement tour. As big news for fans of Nick Dinsmore, aka former WWE superstar Eugene, oh, who wow. informed the fans on Facebook that Eugene has begun his retirement tour. 
Last call one last time. There are select dates available, so book Eugene ASAP for pro wrestling matches, seminars, match psychology, and, and also stand-up comedy. Now, Dinsmore is best known for his oh. wildly popular Eugene character, then raw general manager of Eric Bischoff's storyline nephew, who was befriended by William Regal and began a main event program with Triple H in 2004. Yeah, I they released Dinsmore in 2007, but he's remained a fixture on the independent scene and has trained a number of wrestlers. We'd like to thank Tap Out Corner for this great news bit. Go check him out if you can. Oh, that's crazy, man. Even though his, his gimmick was so, so fucking wild, bro. Pretending to have mental issues. Uh, uh, wrestling. <laughs> what a time. <laughs> Next up, Chris Jericho update. And more news on Chris Jericho's health as it relates to Fozzie's current tour of the UK. Fozzie had to cancel two of its most recent shows due to non-COVID related medical issues that affected its frontman Chris Jericho. Now Jericho has issued a video statement concerning the band's planned show for London with former AEW champion noting the show will take place, but not as a concert. Jericho revealed that his doctor has advised him not to sing due to his current medical condition. Yeah. Instead, Le Champion informed fans that the London show will be a Fozzie fan fest, with the band unveiling its new album Boombox at the event. They'll also be holding a Q&A and the band playing Judas and Enemy with the fans providing the vocals. The London show is the band's last UK event before Jericho heads back to the US. He's not disclosed what his ailment is, but we wish him a fast and full recovery. Yeah, wishing him a, a fast recovery, man. Hope he gets better. Hopefully, you know, he's well and uh, looking forward to seeing him back at some point whenever he does come back to AEW, man. I, I never really listened to his, like his, his music with his band, but I do know that he's been doing it for quite some time. And it's cool to be able to like, Follow one passion that you love and end up doing something else. Like, doing both passions that you love. I think that is amazing. And more people should be doing that. If you have a passion, go for it. If you, you know, reach all you can reach, like, pinnacle-wise in that passion. And you have something else that you're interested in. Go for it as well. You might as well. You only have one life. So, live it to the fullest. Do everything that makes you happy. So, I'm all for it, man. And finally, DDP gets married. Okay. Last but not least, congratulations to Diamond Dallas Page okay. on his recent marriage to Paige McMahon. Uh, not related to any of the McMahon family. Oh, In oh, a swerve okay. that was the nuptial equivalent of Hulk Hogan joining the NWO, DDP pulled a fast one on his bride-to-be with Wrestling Inc. reporting, DDP and his daughter created a false invitation to a friend's red and white christmas theme party. Oh. He invited 115 of the couple's closest friends and family to the very real black and white wedding. DDP's daughter Brittany is a luxury event planner who helped concoct this elaborate ruse. DDP has been dating Paige for two years and she's now Paige Page. The press release mentioned a number of celebrity guests including court TV analyst Julie Grant, country musician Justin Fabers, WWE Hall of Famer Rob Van Dam, wrestlers hey. Katie Forbes, Harold Ice Train Hoag, Enzo Big Cass, Ace Austin, Gia Miller, Eric Watts, Mark Merrow and Hollywood Yates. Oh, We'd okay. like to send our well wishes to DDP and Paige in their next step in their journey as a couple. That's they awesome, have a man. Well as, as proof, it doesn't matter what your age is, you can always find true love out there if you're willing to take time and, and put yourself out there, man. So that's cool to see DDP getting married, man. That's awesome, man. But hey, I appreciate all the love and support, man. This video has been uh pretty informative uh like i said i'm gonna link down the uh gofundme uh, as the first pinned comment so you guys can go donate to him help that guy out i'm gonna try to donate as well because uh he definitely didn't deserve that and that's kind of messed up uh for that wrestler to even go that far so my uh, prayers go out to him and um once again man i love you guys so much thank you for all the love and support i say it all the time but i really truly mean it road to 70k and i appreciate y'all kicking with me see y'all next one peace